Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the math portion of the GRE. We have been solving math problems out of this book here the official guide to GRE, the official guide to the GRE, revised general test. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. The problem that I'm about to solve is the one that you're going to find on page number 124. Page 124. And today is our lesson number 18. Day 18. Let's take a look at it. Very simple, straightforward problem. We are told that pen costs 25 cents. We are told, we are told that marker costs 35 cents. And the question simply is, what's going to be the cost of 18 of these? 18 pens and 100 markers. Now in case you're wondering why I'm doing such a simple problem, as I explained on the very first day, if you've been watching these videos in sequence, on the very first day I explained that my goal is to do every single math problem that you can find in this book, every single one of it. I don't want to leave out anything, no matter how ridiculously simple the problem might be. And this is one of those ridiculously simple problems. So here we go. Each pen costs 25 cents, that's a quarter. We are buying 18 of them. 18 quarters, I know 16 quarters make four dollars and, and two more quarters is going to make a hundred dollars so there's a dollar and a half here we buy 100 of them at 35 cents each 35 cents each times 100 is going to make it 3500 cents or 35 dollars 35 dollars so we have thirty-five dollars and four and a half dollars. We have thirty-nine and a half dollars. No. In a question like this, I'm going to actually write down so that you understand that I'm making a big fuss about it. Always pay attention. Always pay attention to the label. in front of the answer box. What I want you to do is read, read, bottom of page 123, tip number one, you will find it useful. Bottom of page 123, tip number one, I'm going to actually show you exactly what it is. Right at the very bottom of the page, on page 123, there are tips. I want you to read all of these things, especially the first first tip. What it says there is that before or after the box, always pay attention to the label in front of. Pay attention to the label before or after the box. For example, let's, let's, we don't need any of this here. For example, if they give you a box here with a percentage sign in the, at the end, then you cannot, and, you, and your final answer turns out to be 0.35, but you cannot put 0.35 here, because if it's 0.35 in decimal, since it has a percentage label at the, at, outside the box, it has to put in 35. Similarly here, we have 39.5, and outside we have dollar signs, so that's why we have to convert this into dollar. 30, 39 and a half dollars would be 39 and a half dollars would be put in here as 39.5. That's all. I know you I'm making a big fuss about it, but you'll be surprised how many times people lose points because of this carelessness. They do all the work and at the end they forget to pay attention to the units that are assigned either before the box or after the box. If it says feed, let me give you let me give you another example to make you understand it. Let's say you you did all your work. Let's say you did all your work, and the answer comes out to be uh, three yards. But
but the box that they give you has a unit of feet after it. But you can't put three in here because that will be read as three feet. You have to make sure that you put it in nine. Or if your final answer turns out to be three yards and two feet, well, you have to look at here what it says. Does it say, does it say feet or does it say yard? Does it say percentage? Does it say decimal? You have to always make sure that you pay attention to the unit before or after the box and answer accordingly. That's all. It was a very simple problem, I know. But the reason I, wa I wanted to spend some time on it is just to make sure that you read all of these steps right here. Numeric entry questions and description. As I said, bottom of page 123 and read all of them. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.